AI is really scary, man, and not in some distant future. Genocide by AI is happening right now. I'm curious to see if this is going to get me shadow banned or banned, but in Western China, the persecution of the Uyghur people is completely controlled by an AI machine intelligence that orders the human functionaries to put these people in the prison re-education uh, camps and to take these other ones out. It takes in all of this data about who people are talking to abroad, how often they go to the mosque, what their movement patterns are like, and they get secret scores about whether they get to move freely within the region or whether they have to go to re-education for an unknown period of time. Five years ago, you might have been forgiven if you said, oh, who really knows what China is doing it to the Uyghur people on its western flanks? But that is no longer true. Enough excellent reporting has come out, satellite analysis, and secret documents from the Communist Party. It is a genocide that uses mass re-education, that uses forced sterilization, that uses all of these awful tools to destroy this people group because they set off some bombs some years ago and it is completely controlled by AI. The work to look at is Stanley Milgram's research from the 1960s on obedience and compliance, which showed that humans obey authorities. Those were the famous experiments where in what people didn't know were simulations, they were ordered by a white lab coat to shock someone else, and they kept doing it if the lab coat told them to until the person on the other side was unconscious. They kept shocking them because we obey authority figures. That's what makes the AI in this context so scary, is all of these human functionaries are marionettes and just simply obeying the AI. Release these people today, arrest these people tomorrow, and it's a black box, just like any AI. You don't know why it's making those decisions. And so this machine has been given the control over hundreds of thousands and millions of lives and is destroying them because that's exactly what it was built to do. And the humans are built to follow those orders. That's how dark it is right now in the world today. And to imagine as these intelligences get better and humans get better at utilizing them for evil, the darkness that is coming is unimaginable.